Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We're jumping in again and I am taking it on once again. Every like month or so I come back and give it a go. But it, it's got to be done. You've got to try it. You've got you've to put yourself through the pain. And also, <laughs> I know some of you aren't a big fan of Rage episodes, but I know some of you are. Um, and these episodes, while I'm not saying they're guaranteed Rage, I'm going to restart. Do you know what? Let's restart until we get an item room anyways. Um, they're not guaranteed Rage. But there's definitely a potential chance. Um, but I am sort of down to clown with this. Really, you're going to steal my charge? Nah, we, we really do need to be hot restarting to get something decent off the bat. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what we can get. See if we can get something good. <coughs> but this challenge, oh boy, does it have some skeletons in the closet. It's, it's a spooky one. We should be entering these just in case. We'll see what we can do. Don't think we're going to be able to get Devil or Angel deals going pretty easily here. <clears throat> but anyways, as for the question of the day. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. What's one of the hardest things you've taken on in a game? I think that's a pretty good one. I think mine's probably doing the Pantheons in um, in Hollow Knight. Those were, those were kind of insane. Um, those are probably one of the hardest things I've done in gaming. Crack the sky, it's not great, but I'll, I'll go with it. I want to at least start with the item room because I don't want to be navigating to places unnecessarily. Honestly, the, the biggest trouble with this challenge more than anything for me is the uh, complete lack of mapping. Um, it really... I, I'm, I'm a person that really gets thrown off by not having mapping. I just forget where the hell I'm going. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Game's being kind of mean right now. It's being kind of mean. But yeah, how is everyone today as well? How How is y'all day going? Tears up, kind of nice. Range up, okay. I've lost a, a full heart here, so that's not great. But I'm going to stick with this because I've just got two good upgrades. I might get a decent item from my item room as well. But yeah, everyone being champions isn't awful. It's not good, but it's you can get around it. I, was, I keep thinking, why have we got this curse on every single floor? But that's kind of the whole point. Dirty Mind? Mm. <clears throat> Dirty Mind's kind of an interesting one. Gives us uh, a certain amount of protection against our enemies. Oh, dude. I get hit by a champion literally straight away. It's all... It's all going bad. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm already on half a heart. He gives me nothing. Okay. Probably not the run that's going to survive. It's not going to go the distance, I wouldn't say. But, uh... We can we can try and believe. We can try and believe somehow that it'll work. Dude. That dude as a champion looks fucking awesome. Look at his little fire booties that he's wearing. It's amazing. Probably should have found secret room with that. Should have tried at least. But yeah, Dirty Mind could be good. If we can manage to stay alive here, which... Isn't super likely. Dirty Mind is pretty interesting. We should at least bomb that for the chance at Small Rock, even though we're not likely to get it. These guys aren't so bad. That's not ideal. Worst thing about these guys is the lag they produce, because for some reason this specific type of fire causes a ton of lag, whereas other types of fire doesn't. I don't really know why those fires specifically cause more lag, but they definitely do. <laughs> well, I forgot we had Curse of the Maze as well, so we're going to be uh, accidentally going the wrong way a lot. I really can't <laughs> get in there to hit that guy very easily. Check out all the poops that I can. Okay, we managed to find the right way here. We'll see how this goes. Oh, you really have to give me this boss. This is a boss that I get hit by routinely, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, I do I, I do enjoy our, our, like, monthly jump back to this, um, this challenge. It can be so bad. Like, this is a room that I'm just not even going to bother with. Like, what, what would be the point in doing that room? Um, he's kind of nice. Cracked in for me is kind of interesting. 
basically a chance to um, glowing hourglass when we get hit, which could prove to be pretty darn useful. We'll see if it goes the distance, see if it helps us out. But yeah, I feel like it's just like a good sort of point of, of progress to see how far we can get in this challenge every now and again. I was really hoping that would uh, take you out. I, Unfortunately, I, I literally can't get hit on the first floor. If I get hit on the first floor, it's basically game over. I'm not exactly sure what this does, but we'll find out. If we can hit enemies, that would be ideal. Oh, okay, this is this is pretty good. Okay, I like I like this item. Okay. Good, good. Um uh, da, 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 that's that's too risky. The all stats up is nice. Um Actually, to be fair, there's there's no there's no downside to not taking it right now. I might as well just take it and then if it breaks, it breaks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, the electricity seems pretty good. Doesn't seem quite as insane as something like a Jacob's ladder, obviously, but it's kind of like a micro version of that. So it didn't it didn't break. Good. Does the electricity do damage to themselves or only nearby enemies? I think it's only nearby enemies. It does seem to confuse them though, which is nice. There's like a multifaceted effect to it, which is good. Good. Yeah, it seems good in a group. It seems really good in a group. Get a bunch of enemies around and have them all electrifying each other. There you go. The stats are gone already. Um, which way am I going here? I guess I go down now. The electro thingy might be good for this, guys, because the, they'll spawn spiders and it'll automatically kill their own spiders. So, seems useful in that regard, too. But you put yourself in an easier spot to kill slightly. Or not. Oh my god, dude, calm down with your HP, my guy. Holy. Second item room. I keep forgetting we've got two item rooms. It's an XL floor. Oh yeah, that's... That's nice. I mean, the damage, as you can see, isn't really that good. But I think that's just because we're fighting against champions right now. I think if there were regular enemies, they'd be dying a lot faster. Good. This is weird. Why, why is, why is this? Okay, that was pretty useful. That was strange, but I'll take it. Uh, picking up a soul heart will, uh, with an empty red heart will convert it to red hearts at a two times rate. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good overall. We actually got HP up out of that. Also, we got scapula, which I can imagine being pretty useful. No idea where I'm going. This is why I hate cast the maze. I just I absolutely have no idea where I'm meant to be right now. It is so confusing. It's, it's good that some enemies can't be champions. Do you, do you know what? That was some heckin' bullshit right there. That guy jumped at the perfect spot to cl close me in. God damn it. Let's see what our bosses hold. Yeah, having the confusion on them is really nice. It doesn't seem to last as long on bosses. But uh, it's still very, very useful. Also, it doesn't seem to be able to trigger all that often on bosses, too. Of course, I could use bombs here, but really need to be saving my bombs for situations that they be, that they seem more useful. Like, this boss is not a boss that's likely to hit me too much, if at all. It'd be annoying. Uh, it'd be, be annoying. It'd be better if you could stay still rather than being annoying and moving around all over the place. Dude, so many fires as well. Just, just chill out a bit. Chill out a little bit, my guy. Stop moving. Stop moving. There you go. We get ourselves matchbook, which is at least a black heart. We get ourselves a few extra bombs here. Please don't be a horrible boss. Okay, it's not too bad. I will use a bomb here. That was a really good bomb.
Steven is getting a rework soon as well, which is kind of interesting. Should be coming pretty shortly. And there you go. Oh, no way that hit me. God damn it. I tried my best. Little Steven, not bad, not bad. And we're definitely going to go Angel Deal here. Um, I feel taking anything else would be a bad idea. Right, little Steven I'm actually pretty happy with, to be honest. Um, I think the extra damage, any extra damage is going to be very, very useful for us. Yeah, the electricity here, as you can see, is proving useful. Weakens everything up. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but like I said, it just weakens them up a nice bit for us. Sadly, we've got three other champions here that all would spawn a red heart. Of course, none of them actually will. A little bit upsetting. A little bit sp upsetty spaghetti. This is a decent run so far. In terms of our power, we've not got anything insane going on. But our health is still looking alright. Um, we've still got our Bertha item run to this floor. We've got the keys to grab them as well. See, like, this is a situation that's nice. When we have enemies that can't be champions. Which happens a little more often with Fiendfolio. There's, there's quite a few enemies in Fiendfolio that can't be champions. Uh, and that, that does save our bacon a little bit. Here and there. Yeah. Let's take out the guy raining tears onto us. Take you out first. Little annoying dude. The guys that are all spooked by the mushroom. Really not ideal. Get out of the mushroom's field of influence, please. I'm having a really, really hard time killing these guys. They seem to have an extraordinary amount of health. One of the flies managed to get all the way back in there. Why? Okay. Where are we going? Yeah, we Did we go this way before? I think I think Curse of the Maze just gave us a new room, even though we've already been this way. This could just be a new direction. The electricity doesn't last very long, is the only thing. I wish it I wish it lasted like twice as long as it does. I realize it's already like fairly strong, so it doesn't need to, but. Still, it's a little annoying. Right. Don't know why I keep trying to check the map. I literally, like, I'm not going to get anything from doing that. This is a rough room. This is a room we could easily get hit in. Because these guys already have a ton of HP. Really doesn't help when, um, when they're champions. And also that they've reworked and have new attacks. Normally, they can't do that little spewing attack. That's part of the reworked uh, furs mod. Making them do that. Hey, okay, that's our first item room. And that's gonna be... A familiar fly? I don't really know what this does. I am not familiar with familiar fly. I'm not quite sure what to expect here. He seems to just be... Circling around me on a really wide arc. I'm unsure if that means he does something special or not, but I guess we'll find out. Golden Bomb. Golden Bomb's pretty decent, potentially. Okay, these guys are going to be annoying. Good. Oh, dude, I didn't realize you were that type of champion. My bad. Good, good. We've got another item room to find yet, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not sure what Familiar Fly does. Um, Orbit and Familiar can charm flies will explode when close to enough enemies for long enough. Interesting. I'm guessing that's why it flies quite far away from us. The explosion will never hurt us. Intriguing, though, that he's explosive in some way. Basically, he'll hold it over the top of enemies and it'll eventually explode. I don't know what card that is. I'm just going to blow up and find out. Empress and the world. 
I mean, the world does literally nothing for us. Empress is good for the boss, at least. Yeah, there you go. It exploded. Okay. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, dude. Fucking moved at rapid speed. Bloody bugger off. What's health there for no good reason at all? Where the hell's the second item room? Like, actually, goddamn, where is it? Yeah, that's pretty useful. We can we can use that to do some good damage. It's a little finicky, but for the most part. Oh, dude, just die. Thank you. Where's this item room, man? Here it is. Get ourselves silver ring. That's some damage up. Nice. Are you a champion or not? I can't really tell. Pop in here real quick. <laughs> Pretty good. And in here we've got... Uh, it's not bad either. Not bad either. Um... Trying to think of what we can do to get money here. What we can do to get spiders, more like. Dude, really? Three of these spawn double spiders? Very, very great for us. Thank you, game. Right, now we've got to figure out how the flippity flip to get back. I should also be doing this wherever I can. Really got to hope for, um, what's it called? Uh, health upgrades from the boss. To make sure we can heal up, because there isn't basically any other way to heal up. So, health upgrades is going to be our main way. Luckily, they're pretty common from the boss. Have we found our secret room yet? I don't remember. We got golden bombs from a secret room. I think that was second secret room rather than first, right? Right, let's just go back to the boss. I think it was down this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. Curse of the Maze is making it slightly more confusing, but otherwise I think we're golden. We did get a double trouble boss here. Luckily we have bombs. We got petrified poop, nice. That is at least some potential HP. And we'll go back in here. Ooh, this... The electricity is real good on multi-segment enemies. I didn't even think about that. And you should be pretty easy as well. Oh, the confusion made you jump in the wrong direction there. Dude, did that bomb miss? Seriously? Did you get an angel deal? And we did get a HP up. Awesome. Our angel deal is going to be Celtic Cross, which is actually pretty decent for us. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but invincibility when we get hit saves us from getting hit multiple times at least. And we'll go and buy one of the items in the shop real quick as well. Getting back to that shop though is probably going to be a little bit frustrating, I would imagine. I don't really remember where it is. I just remember it's to the right. That's about all I remember though. Okay, into the room we haven't been in before. That's not ideal. Stick my boy on him and let him blow up. It seems to be a really decent way of taking care of enemies like that, so... Good. Oh, there's a tinted rock back there. So they get consumables out of it sometimes, like that. They don't really know where we are anymore. Possum's ear? What does Possum's ear do? 
Taking, uh, uh, sorry, converts one heart container into a burn heart. Um, that's pretty bad for us because, like, we we can't fill the burn hearts with anything, so doesn't really help us at all. But yeah, I don't know where the hell we've managed to make our way to this time around. We've managed to make our way into a few rooms we'd never been to before, which is slightly confusing because I thought we'd been to all of them. Good. And then back out this way. Now I'm really confused about where the hell I am. The, the shop is just absolutely, completely unknown to me at this point. Okay, here it is, here it is. It's by whatever this is. Electric dice. That's not very good right now, but could potentially be better later. Um, give me a battery charge and a bomb. I'd like to buy the other item, but I just don't think I'm going to be able to get the money. I mean, I probably should have just tried to use Petrified Poop to, to get a bit more out of the poops here, but what's done is done. Uh, Electric Dice is really good later down the line if we get a different active item. Right now, it's terrible because we're just never going to use this active. But in the future, uh, it allows basically our active item to be used up to three times on use. Which is kind of crazy. It's It's like a... It's like a car battery, but with slightly more gambling to it. Rather than it being uh, use it two times every time, it's use it between one and three times each time you use it. So it can be really good. Right, anyways, let's pop these mushrooms real quick. Make sure we're not missing out on a magic mush. Then we'll get going. Cool. Okay, not, not doing too terrible right now, I wouldn't say. I think our run is mediocre, or slightly above mediocre. Cool, cool. Managed to use my little bomb fly boy. Extra bombs there, lovely. Let's get this guy first before he gets back in his uh, in, in his home. Good, good. Not quite sure what the uh, the glowing red one does. Is that health link? I think that is health link. I think we've got two health link ones in this room. Not a great use for a bomb, but with them being health linked, it was taking quite a while to kill them. Gotta be careful of the blue blocks here. We get ourselves the virus, which is almost useless, I, I, I have to say. Really not very good at all for us. But it's something. It's at least a speed upgrade now, rather than just being poison touch, like it was in Afterbirth Plus. I like the noise it makes when a fly comes back. It goes, dun like a little prize noise. Having a real hard time staying away from the middle here. Oh, that hit me. Come on now. Dude, this fucking sucky thing can suck off. Get off me. Really annoying. Right, this is the starter room, right? I think. And we went this way. Right, I'm going to keep sort of traveling the way we went before. Dude, there's so many tinted rocks, and there's no health I can gain from them. This is so frustrating. How have I not got small rock yet? I've blown up so many. Pill is just too risky. It could be um, hematemesis. That would be devastating, because it, it would take away all my red hearts and drop none on the floor, so hematemesis would be pretty awful. Good. Extra keys, thank you. One of these fellas, not too not too bad. Tried to use the bomb fly boy on him, but it didn't quite work. Right, we've still got one more item room remaining out there somewhere. Which is always annoying because now it's just things get extra confusing. I'm really not sure what's going on with these guys. This is 
Insane. Is it small rock? Dude, the amount of tinted rocks. What's going on? It's so taunting. Kind of an interesting room idea, actually. Having these enemies attached to one another. Rolling it around, destroying all the rocks. I like it. We got uh, some items in here. I want to buy them because they could be active items that could end up being really good for us. Try to take out the spider before we even touch these guys. Shouldn't be too bad. Dude, no. I didn't realize you shot like that. It's good. 10 all. Oh, that's terrible. That literally doesn't do anything for us. We just want to use this in a room we want to clear quickly. Yeah, that didn't really do much for us there, unfortunately. It was kind of stupid of me. And then here we get Toy Piano is pretty goddamn good. Okay, happy with that. Right. Back we go, wherever the shop was. Here, good, good. Buy whatever this is. It is an active item. Um... It's a pretty good one as well if we can find the secret room, but on an XL floor without any indication of where it might be, finding the secret room might not be so easy. Oh, dude, I didn't see that spike block. Fuck's sake. Secret room or secret room, where might you be? I've not seen anywhere where a secret room might be so far. Kind of an intriguing room. Could be this room here for secret room. This is horrible. Yes. Okay, nice. Found secret room. And we get ourselves echo chamber. Are you a wizard? That's terrible. Now every single thing we use is going to be an are you a wizard? Okay. I had to try it though, because if it was a really good pill, it'd be kind of ace. Like I said, if I get hematemesis, I'm kind of fucked, but... There is some other good stuff in there that would be really good with, uh... With this. Bombs are key. Another Ayo Wizard. We have, to, we have to wait until our Ayo Wizard wears off. Not ideal. Trying to get a card out of these. Sadly not. Right, let's wait until this is over. Echo Chamber is one of those things where it could be great and it might not do much. We'll have to see. Right. Come on, Iowa Wizard. We're going to get another Iowa Wizard on our next card or pill usage anyways. So it's going to be kind of annoying for a little while here. There you go. We're back to normal. Did we get another double trouble? Is it always double trouble on this challenge? Did I not know that about this challenge? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. The plasma triggers Toy Piano. Like, really fast. Oh, my God. I didn't see that coming at all for some reason. Even though that's literally what this boss does. Not too bad. Took a damage there that I really shouldn't have. Really hoping for HP here. Yes, indeed we got HP. Mother herself here. Oh, dude. I forget that Mother can do that sometimes. What mum what is this? This is Red Mum. Oh, this is, this is Red Mum. This is really bad. This is like the worst mum we could have possibly hoped for. Because she's doing that stupid attack where she shoots. You shot between the rocks? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you see that? She shot between these two rocks. That's absolute flaming horseshit. We've lost so much health here. This was going so well, and then we got Red Mum. I knew Red Mum would be frustrating, because basically our, our plasma thing does nothing for us here. Dude, I really hate this attack that she does with the 
with the little old shoots. Just use your feet and that's it, and then we'll be fine. Yeah, this went real bad. Dear. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, this is this is not good now. This is this is taking a turn. We're gonna need some real good cards with Echo Chamber to sort all this out. The toy piano plus the um, plasma seems real goddamn good. Finding our way on these XL floors is going to be an absolute nightmare. Good, good. Sun Bond. I think that's pretty good at this point. Our familiars fire our type of tears, meaning more electromagnetic tears, whatever you want to call them. And more toy piano shots. Okay. Very, very worried right now. Don't think this run's going to go too hot from here on out. Ooh, this is not a good room. How have I not been hit there? Dude, this toy piano synergy is kind of fucking crazy. That was a, a pretty rough room. Oh, God damn it. I forget what you do. Good. Um really hit all of these. Fucking one of them hit me. God damn it. Another Are You A Wizard? Really? Of all the things you could have given me to help me out with uh, Echo Chamber, that's what you're going to give me. <sighs> Going a dead end on this challenge just feels like such an enormous waste of my time. Keep our distance from this bad boy. Ugh, right. This is a room with limited space, so who knows how this is going to go. Okay, good. We get ourselves Black Pony. That's actually pretty decent. Now we've got to fight this version of Mum's Heart, which I completely forgot about. Dude. That was a really rough enemy for you to have spawned there. Bugger off with all the extra enemies, my goodness. My goodness. What's going on now? Oh, dude. Th this attack fucks me up something royal. Yep. There's bouncy shots! Why? <laughs> Why are there bouncy shots? Are you... 
fucking kidding me with that bullshit? Right, we'll, we'll do another attempt. That is... Oh... I am, I've, I've hyped this, like, this challenge up to, it used to be ultra hard, now it's infinite hard, because Fiend Folio plus the reworked Furs mod makes this challenge so much harder than it has any right being. Do you know what, let's, let's restart for an item room. Let's get an actually decent start here. But that was, that was a fun run though, that was, that was a pretty good one, I enjoyed that. Twinkle of Contagion. What the hell is that? Enemies have a chance to glow upon entering a room. Looking at a glowing enemy passes the effect onto you, giving you a stat boost onto the effect. Nah. Nah. We need something that's going to be... Basically, we need something that's going to deal some AoE damage. Give us, like, butt bombs or something like that. That is pretty fucking good. I will take that. Photon is a pretty big damage up, and obviously the shot speed and stuff's really nice as well. And it's infinite range now, too. Just gotta be wary of this bastard bouncing around all over the place. Only need two hits on them to kill him. Not bad, not bad. And we did get the item, whatever it is. Tammy's head. Okay. Tammy's head seems pretty decent with this. A, maybe a little bit hard to hit things with, but I was just asking for some AoE, and this is technically some AoE. I hate how goddamn long you hold it above your head. Makes things real frustrating. Right, keep it going, keep it going. I was really hoping it would kill these small flies in one hit, but sadly it does not. Oh, that, that didn't hit a single goddamn one of them. It's the only thing about them moving. The shot's moving instantaneously. Not always going to hit the way you want it to. Charles Leash isn't good now, but it is a good thing to have. Linger Bean, of course, is mostly useless, but I'm pretty happy with Furton regardless, so I'm not going to cry too much about it. Good. It's good for like one kill. Because the times headshots do more, more damage than ours. I think they do 1.5 times ours. I tried to get in there and hit multiple uh, shots there with the Tammy's head. Didn't really work out. I think I'm just best off keeping my distance as much as possible. Letting him do his two dashes. Don't step on the poop slick, actually. It's a bad idea. It's going to get me caught out. It's actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. He is doing a lot of dashing right now. Need a fire rate increase is what I need. Here we go, this is the last bit, there you go. And HP up. It's a damage up at least. Still don't really know how the damage up works from Sty, because it doesn't apply to your actual stats, so I'm not entirely sure how the damage is overall applied, but I think it's good. Oh, also, one thing to note about this as well is we have zero knockback with Furton. That's like the one downside, but that's not always a downside. Like, against an enemy like this, it can be annoying, but it's actually kind of useful to be able to hit them more reliably. Good. We got Steven as well. Okay, so damage is looking real hot right now. But health is really not looking good at all. So we're in a bit of a pickle. I, what the hell kind of noise was that guy making then? Yeah, damage is looking good like that. 
I wish we had the electric dice on this run, my god. This is kind of annoying because this guy isn't going to be okay until we kill everything else, but he's really in the way, dude. That guy split as well. Oh, this is a nightmare. Fuck off. Out of the way. This is an actual fucking nightmare, this is. This, this is such a horrible, horrendous room. Okay, we, we, we're good, we're good. At least we didn't get hit by a champion. Still, I'm not happy. Dude, you've got to be fucking kidding me. How dare you? Dastardly bitch. I'm going to bomb this to get the key. God, so stressful. My health, not looking good. And now I gotta find my goddamn item rooms. Yeah, that's, it holds the time he's head above your head for way too goddamn long. I really hate this situation. Okay, good. Just about got through it. Did get another key as well. Managed to get you dead. Lovely. Um, yeah, that seems decent. Why'd I do that? God damn it. What do you do again? You're not too bad, are you? Okay, yeah, you're fine. You are fine. Ah, got me stuck on the goddamn island. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! In the last room, you guys did fucking nothing. What was that about this time? Why are you firing like a thousand shots? Last time you fired like one. Give it a rest, you racist. Also, what the hell with this room? Where the shitting hell are my goddamn item rooms? <laughs> How have I seen this much of the floor and I've not seen either of the two item rooms? This is just silly. Oh, do you want to fuck off, clam boy? Thank you. The champion that splits into two champ uh, two more enemies is the 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 worst one, I think. Right, where the hell are the item rooms possibly at? Here's our shop. These clam goofballs have so much goddamn HP. You'd kindly stop living. My item room isn't through here, I'm actually gonna scream. What the fuck? It's been 64 years, where is it? How is this floor so large? How is this the wrong way? How, how, how is this still the wrong way? Are you actually kidding me? This guy's going to kill me. Okay, no, we got him. How? How is that still... How is that still the wrong way? How? Like, where? Where are you tucking these fucking item rooms away? They're both here, that's why. Oh, dude, I got hit as well. Fuck's sake. This one requires a bomb, so that's, 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 that's fun. Are you actually fucking kidding me? What? What? Oh, both of them required a fucking bomb. Why? All that effort, all that time, and that's how you shaft me? That's how you shaft me? Really? Really? I, I, I feel like I put a lot of effort in there, and the game was like, Ayo, you don't have no bombs, so we're going to give you two of the only item rooms in the game that require bombs. Lololol.
Fuck you, game. Absolute bullshit. This challenge is just ridiculous. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Nonetheless, I'm going to leave it there before I turn insane. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.